Now, we have some things that we need to talk about. Why it is just so lovely to see Sony finally getting a taste of their own medicine. Now, you know, you really want to know the reason why I'm so happy. And it's not, it's not to see PlayStation fail because I'm a huge PlayStation fan. So first of all, I would like to touch on that. I would just like to say, I don't ever want to see PlayStation fail. I don't even want to see Sony fail. But it is good. <laughs> it is so lovely. It's feel, it feels like Christmas to see Jim Ryan crying and finally getting a taste of their own medicine. And do you really want to know why I feel like that? You really want to know why? Because this is for all the people that they have done dirty. This is for all the backdoor exclusive deals. This is for all the greed. The shady, nasty, grimy, low-down deals that they have done behind Xbox back, PC back, Nintendo back, Sega, how dirty they did Sega doing block, they're blocking games from coming to Sega, how they just completely knocked Sega off from all of the greed, dirty, shady, grimy deals these Decepticons have did over the years. That's why I'm happy they're finally getting <laughs> A taste of their own medicine. I don't care about Jim Ryan feelings because he don't care about our feelings. Do you think? Do you think you can actually have a civilized conversation with a billionaire and and speak some something logic into his mind and, and help him see it the gaming community way? Because if we if we could have one, wouldn't we have seen that by now? This this idiot. This moron have said, no, I'm not going to compete with Game Pass because I want to protect that $70 price tag. I want to protect that premium price tag that comes with buying a PS5, that comes with buying VR2, that comes with buying these programs and all these little other little, little trickery, little uh, uh, icing on the top of it. You know what I'm saying? You have all these little plans and programs that you're bringing out, little PlayStation stars and all this other crap. Talking about, oh, we're gonna have to pay. We're gonna have to pay to talk to customer service. So you mean to tell me I gotta spend an extra three hundred dollars? Then I have to rank up to like the gold trophies. Like I'm talking about, you got to rank up. Your pockets got to rank up. <laughs> And you wonder why I'm so happy that they're finally getting a taste of their own medicine. Man, I can't wait to this Call of Duty Activision deal. Bro, I'm going to tell you like this. If you think I'm showing out right now, you ain't seen when when those AAA bangers start dive just flooding Game Pass. The floodgates open for those AAA bangers like Starfield, Redfall, For Forza Motorsports, Stalker 2. Even even if even if it's multiplat games like Harry Potter, um, um Dead Island 2, what else? Um, um Fallen Dynasty, you know, Skull Skull and Bones. I don't know if that's gonna be on Game Pass, but um what is Black is it Black Myth? Um Suicide Squad. We can go down the list. If you think I'm showing out now, bro, you ain't seen a half. Just stay tuned to 2023. Stay tuned, stay locked in with your boy. Cause those Decepticons ain't ready. Oh man, it's just the beginning. This is just the beginning. If you think I'm showing out now, wait till the AAA banger start hitting Game Pass and PC. Xbox and PC is about to turn all the way up. And Jim Ryan, no, he can't do nothing about it. Bro, he know he can't do nothing. Just put yourself in the mind of Jim Ryan right now. What would you do? Cry. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's all you can that's all you can do <laughs> no 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 starfield no 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 redfall no 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 hellblade 2 no 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 <laughs> stop stop the steal stop the steal call of duty activision blizzard deal call of duty exclusive to xbox you're going to be able to play call of duty on the go not just one call of duty every call of duty i'm gonna say it one more time y'all don't hear me <laughs> y'all don't hear me and the decepticons out there those little fanboys <laughs> They really don't want to hear it. I'm gonna say it one more time. Every Call of Duty, every Activision Blizzard game, King game, I think even Candy Crush is gonna be on Game Pass. <laughs> so all you gamblers, get ready, get your money ready, get your wallets ready, man. <laughs> you can Candy Crush to your heart content. <laughs> I'm talking about they have brought Street Fighter 6 back. Remember that? That was an exclusive deal to PlayStation. I think it was Street Fighter 5. I think they had something to do with buying it or something like that. Stuff like that. Stuff, see, irritating stuff like that makes me happy to see these Decepticons over there, Sony, crying. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about I want to see PlayStation fail. That's not what I want. I would never want any company to fail that I love. But <laughs> at the same time, it's kind of bittersweet. You know, it's like you don't want to see him crying, but you do want to. <laughs> but you do want to see him crying. So it's like, which one do you choose? So it's just like, I'd rather go and see him crying because that lets me know that, they, they, that they're, they're in their feelings. And they're finally getting a taste of their own medicine. See, Sony have been at the top for so long. They ain't really had nobody to clap back like this before. They ain't really had nobody to put them in their place. They ain't really had nobody to say, Sony, you need to shut up and listen to the fan base. They ain't had that. When have they had it? Can't do anybody know. Like Nintendo ain't been able to slap them. Sega wasn't able to slap them. But Uncle Phil, Uncle Phil, oh, you little slick son of a gun. You found a way to break the ice. He found a way to make the gaming community believe that there's another way, another path that we can go down, that we don't always have to follow Sony suit. We don't always have to be greedy, grimy, and shady. We can do better. We can bring gaming back alive. We can bring it back from the dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You even got people out here saying PS5 ain't got no games now. Oh, I thought I would never hear those days. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. I, I'm, I kid you not. I kid you not. People were out here in these gaming streets right now saying that. Because after God of War, they're like, oh man, PS5 ain't got no games. Man, this, this garbage, <laughs> this overpriced plastic box, this trash, people are saying that, they are saying that, bro, about PS5, it's garbage now to them, they're going to Xbox and PC and Nintendo, because Jim Ryan, they don't believe in him, but guess who they do believe in, Uncle Phil over there at Xbox. <laughs> And it feels so good to rub it in though. It's like I'm gonna rub it in like cocoa butter lotion. <laughs> it feels so good. I'm gonna rub it in so deep. It's gonna be skin deep. <laughs> it's gonna be in your pores. I know I cannot be the only one feeling like I'm finally happy to see, you know, Xbox getting justice. You know, we, 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 we are finally in a generation where Xbox is finally being looked at as a competitor. We're finally in a generation where we can actually have fans that can say, man, I'm proud to have an Xbox. I'm proud to see that they're fighting back or a PC. 
that you have the market leader, the market leader that's at the top of the mountain crying like a little baby about, you know, keeping Call of Duty on the platform that's not bringing the gaming community value. Do anybody see what these Decepticons are doing? They are trying to figure out a way to milk the game for what it's got dry. They are trying to rob their own fan base, fill their bank accounts up without bringing us value. Hold on, let me let me rewind it real quick. Cause some people, it goes over their head, they really ain't catch what I was saying. Sony, at the top front office, is trying to figure out how to rob their own fan base and fill their own pockets with money without bringing us value. Now the trick is they have to give you something, but in return, they're going to double their profits into everything. So they are tapping into everything, doubling their profits to stay market leaders because they know Xbox is coming. Come next year, they know. So now they're trying to milk the fan base for everything it got, bro. I'm talking about they're trying to, you have to pay to talk to customer service. You got to pay an extra $10, well, I'll say like 10 to $15, depending, you know, on tax, you know. They went up on the console. Why would you go up on a PS5? When have they ever went up on a console unless it's gonna be like the PS5 Pro? Now, if the Pro, if they were gonna come out with the, the PS5 Pro, then I can say, okay, you're coming out with the PS5 Pro, bro. All right, we can understand if it goes up an extra 50 to 100, because it's, it's the Pro. We, we can understand it's gonna be more powerful. It's gonna be just the powerful. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have just as much power as the uh, Xbox Series X, right? We, we You would assume it's gonna have that much power. So I, that would be understandable. But for the base model, the, the, the concept version, the one that keeps tearing up, the prototypes you're gonna go you're gonna go up it's less powerful than the xbox the xbox is powerful than the ps5 you do know that right so uh, and you're making it cheaper you're making it cheaper and you're ripping your own fan base off now i say that to say this isn't it just lovely to finally <laughs> To finally see Sony get a taste of their own medicine for one time, for just once, for this one time, this one generation. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, I'm loving it, man. I feel like I'm at Burger King right now. I feel like I'm having it my way. I mean, this is just, I mean, this is amazing. This is just like Christmas. Every time I see Jim Ryan crying, Jim flying, Ryan crying, I feel like I'm a kid in the candy store, man. I'm just loving every moment because I have got so sick and tired of the fanboys and the My Little Ponies running around, chirping, seeing all these little toxic slurs coming out of their mouth. Xbox ain't got no games. Y'all can't compete. Xbox is trash. Now what? You see, you see, you seeing how that is slowly dying down every day. You're, you're hearing less and less and less of them saying that they're starting to believe in Xbox now, and that is crazy. As crazy as that sounds, and it is scary at the same time. It's scary for the My Little Ponies, for the for the Jim for the Jim Lion Ryan fan base. So everybody that have been believing in him are now starting to scratch their heads and starting to say, wait a minute, this Decepticon have been lying to us since day one out here in these gaming streets. Now, you can sit there and say, yes, they have all the AAA bangers. They have the best story driven, narrative driven, adventure games, role playing games, hands down. Okay, they got that, but it's coming with a premium price tag. This is a premium console over here on the blue team. 
that Sony have. The PS5 is a premium console, but the Xbox on the green team bringing you value with Game Pass, something that Sony don't want to compete with. They don't want to compete. They want to. They want to cheat their way to the. Continue to cheat their cheat their way to the top. They're already at the top. <laughs> you get. <laughs> How are you already at the top, but you're trying to cheat your way to the top again? Like to stay at the top. Like who does that? Like make it make sense, Jim Ryan. Like we, 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 I'm still trying to get a wrap my head around this whole entire we believe in generations, but we don't believe in our gaming fan base, the gaming community. Help me, help me understand that part. Like, like how are you? You believe in them, but you're gonna go up on the PS5 in every country except the US. You want to try to go and block, do blocking rights, stop games from coming to Game Pass and PC and Xbox, Nintendo. Oh yeah, it's it's a lot of shady stuff that goes on behind closed doors that we don't hear about. Now, the stuff that we do hear about, think about all of the things, the news that haven't came out yet that Jim Ryan and Sony been doing behind everybody's back. All the grimy, shady, low down deals that they have been doing for years is finally catching up to them and they're finally getting a taste of their own medicine. Y'all don't hear me. Oh my goodness, man. Y'all don't hear me, man. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all y'all acting like y'all hear me, but y'all don't really hear me. Y'all ain't listening. Y'all don't see the trickery. We know they got the AAA bangers. We already we already accepted Sony have the AAA bangers. But we're not accepting that they're not bringing us value. What Game Pass is bringing. See, I'm just a messenger. I, I tell you guys this. I'm the delivery man. That's why you got people like me out here. I have to go scavenge all of the dirt that they're out here doing so that the gaming community don't be blinded because a lot of people are we got a lot of people not really seeing the truth and the truth will set you free <laughs> it will it will set you free I don't want I don't want Sony coming at Xbox sideways you know, talking out the side of their neck, dogging, throwing dirt on Xbox name, not putting respect on Xbox name. Don't, they're not even putting respect on Uncle Phil name right now. And you see how hard, you see how hard this man is out here grinding. He's bringing us value to Game Pass and they don't want to respect it because they're brainwashed to the PlayStation AAA bangers. Brainwashed, being manipulated Meaning, meaning anything that Jim Ryan says, the fanboys are going to believe it. That's what I mean by brainwashed. That's what I mean by hooked on phonics. <laughs> you know what I'm I don't know. I don't know how much I have to stress this, but I have to. It's like you, you know what I'm saying. It's like you don't want to stress it that. Xbox is bringing us value with Game Pass and Jim Ryan said no I'm not going to compete with Game Pass with PlayStation Plus Premium Cloud Service Games meaning PC and mobile that's basically what I'm saying you want a bigger audience you want more money you say you're greedy you're grimy and then but you're you're prideful at the same time so you're shooting yourself in the foot Every, every time, every day we hear something new come out about Sony. Whether it's blocking rights, whether it's trying to stop the Call of Duty Activision deal, whether it's locking down games, Final Fantasy, Resident Evil, Wolverine, you know, locking down DLCs like on, on Harry Potter games, even Call of Duty, locking DLCs down, locking characters down the DLCs and microtransactions down from Xbox. Somebody that's trying to actually buy the game, they're still doing backdoor deals. Now, I don't know the person that, that they talk to. I don't know the connects that Sony have. 
but we are going to start looking for these people and finding these people and exposing them because something has to be done about all of these unnecessary exclusive deals and it's irritating it is so irritating bro like we want to know how are they doing these little exclusive deals and and you it's only announced when the game is about to drop it's like so who sony was talking to to get these things done and I'm going to leave it right there, guys. Make sure you smash that like, that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you guys can be notified on all of the new latest and greatest news in these gaming streets. And if you would like to jump into the Xbox ecosystem or the PlayStation ecosystem, just click the links down below. Thank you and peace.